Hi, Gary Klebin here. You know, it's really easy being poor. There's nothing to protect, nothing even to think about. It's fairly simple. All right, let's get real for a second because we're not poor. We have assets. And in particular, we want to protect those assets from a variety of different things that might happen. Let's kind of walk through those. The first is insurance protection. You know, you have auto, homeowners, maybe boat. If somebody comes after you personally and sues you, you want to have something called umbrella liability coverage. Yeah, probably one, three, five million. So that covers taking care of that claim and not taking assets from you. Next, you have tax planning matters. Well, let's take a look at what happens during, during life for you. You might be paying too much in taxes because you're not planning that stuff out. At death, it can be a lot worse because you have state inheritance taxes and federal state taxes. And so the state needs to be structured properly from a tax planning standpoint to make sure you're not paying undue taxes. We got legal documents, and in particular, you need a state arena, power attorney for property and health care, and wills and trusts and making sure things are funded and beneficiary designations are correct so that everything is encapsulated and put together exactly how you want that done. Next, financial structures. Here we're talking about making sure you have FDIC insured accounts, SPIC coverage for securities, maybe other kinds of insured assets. Why? Because of various contingencies of things that might happen to you during your life that you have places to go to and it's structured properly for a variety of different kinds of things that might occur to protect yourself, to make sure you have constant cash flow coming in. Finally, we have family matters. Who do you select to be that agent for your power of attorney for health care and property? That person is going to make decisions for you if you're incompetent and you can't do that. And especially at death, who's going to make those really good smart decisions as executor and trustee on those assets as they get distributed to your heirs, hopefully very simply and easily and without a lot of difficulty. So these are the five key categories you should consider and probably review on a time-to-time -time basis to make sure things are in order. Until next time, enjoy.